I'm here at the Washington State Gaming Convention. Woo! This last weekend, I was at the Washington State Fairgrounds in Puyallup for a new video game expo and had so much great stuff. Had a blast and they invited me and I stayed for Friday and Saturday and came back for Sunday to spend time with my family for Easter. But a huge 80,000 square foot two very big halls they had everything from cards comics lots of video games there was professional voice actors that you could meet everything from master chief cortana and a whole lot more solid snake anyways there was lots there to enjoy there was imports there was consoles there was old there was new there was sega genesis nintendo even some atari and it was a plethora of vendors and they were willing to strike deals. I mostly hung out in the back area with Robin Mihara, Thor, John Riggs, Radical Reggie, and uh, Riggs' family, and some Drunken Master Paul and Metal Jesus Rocks. It was a reunion for us. It had been years since we'd all been together. We did a great panel as well at 1230. Huge vendor hall and play area. You could play Rock Band, you could play Smash, you could do MK1. Uh, you could just come and hang out with us and just chat. And we had our uh, homebrew and aftermarket stuff. Riggs had his table, so did I. Getting ready for Midwest Gaming Classic this next week. Super excited. And it was great to just check out what Robin Mihara is soon to be uh, showcasing. And I'm going to show it on my channel. A new NWC release celebrating the 35th anniversary so amazing and you know what it's gonna be awesome and so we were checking it out and got to see the legend play himself thor if you don't know thor akalin he is one of the best tetris players in the world he's a legend and i consider him a friend super nice just so friendly i had so much fun hanging out with him Radical Reggie and John Lester was there. Got to hang out with him a bit too and went out and had dinner with him. It was so awesome to touch base with him. He is the coordinator and organizer of the Game On Expo. But seeing the legend play himself, oh man, it was awesome. And he hadn't played in a long time and was doing awesome. Just giving him some tricks and hints on how to play. But went out with the crew with John Lester and Riggs' family, had such a blast. And we went to Powerhouse, and it was a great, uh, essentially bar area. It had food as well. It was amazing. Great food, great beer. And I uh, hung out with Radical Reggie and his friend, who brought something cool I'm going to show in a bit. And uh, it was just good to just hang out with people and reunite with friends. Uh, it was uh, a chill new expo that's going to grow and be successful, hopefully, fingers crossed. It was a huge area and it was competing with some other events at the time which i do think impacted attendance but it was still well attended on saturday i was a little slow on friday and i wasn't there for sunday but anyways in the comments below let me know if you went and what did you think of it but uh several vendors had so many different types of games playstation xbox wii wii u nintendo consoles that was cool seeing some nintendo consoles there and uh, just seemed like people were having a good time. And you know what? I, I didn't have a lot of time to go around to the vendor areas. Uh, we weren't stationed in the vendor hall where we usually are positioned at other expos. But um, rest assured, um, you know, I think I do want to come back to this event. And overall, I thought it was a great experience. You know, for especially for a first year show, I think that they uh, achieved quite a bit. It was a very ambitious expo competing with some other expos happening at the same time and Easter. You know, organizing my own shows on Easter, it can be challenging sometimes to advertise. Anyway, saw cool stuff like this, a pink R2 unit, and um, I knew it has a specific name, but I forgot it. If you know the name of this droid, which has its own Star Wars card, put it in the comments below as huge Star Wars fan and how to put this in video but you know the, the the best thing about this expo is i got to reunite with friends and it was really special to me um you know that i have some great friends that were attending and it was good to catch up on old times and i had an absolute blast doing that 
as well as just talking to fans coming up and talking about uh, YouTube and content creation and more. There were some amazing pinball machines that were constantly being played. It was very busy. Kind of wish there was more than one of them. Uh, they were on sale as well. So people were coming up and playing them and a couple sold, which was crazy. Some of the prices for them are super expensive. But here's just an example of the uh, play area. It was wide open. People could come up and part of the admission was you could play cool arcade games such as this. Mixed in with the classics, there was some pretty obscure arcade games as well. Kind of, kind of neat to see the Crazy Climber and Mappy and Tubin. Um, you don't see those too often now, especially they were in really good shape, Mario Brothers Classic. Then there was like Roundup there. That's pretty obscure. And then like four player gauntlet. And then Jump Bug. This was an arcade cabinet I've never seen in person. Don't remember seeing it. Might, might have seen it back in the day and not remembered it. But yeah, pretty weird arcade game and so definitely want to play that more but yeah they had a, a wide variety of offerings but you know i kind of gravitate to some of the arcade classics this is the type of stuff that's hard to find anyways uh here is a great photo got to hang out a lot with riggs riggs, riggs was super friendly uh, as well as lester and thor and we got to talk quite a bit it was nice to just catch up on old times talk about the good old days and just kind of catch catch up what are, how people are doing and looking forward to seeing them again at future shows. Here's Riggs playing the NWC 35th anniversary. And uh, you know what, enjoyed seeing my friends play. We all, we all weren't great at it compared to Thor or Robin that destroyed our score. But yeah, looking forward to uh, showing this in an upcoming video, NWC 35th anniversary and how to sign up for it and where to get it. And anyways, really excited about that. Guys, uh, it was cool. Anyways, Reggie's, Radical Reggie's friend brought this, a box, and he was asking questions about it. Uh, come to find out this was a US release uh, XI box. There was different box variations offered in the States. It was just really cool to see this as I've never seen it in person. I don't have a box for my JVC XI and it was just awesome. Uh, going back, I went back and played this classic, Circus, which is pretty hard to get and find in good shape. And it, it was at this expo, and some people could just come up and play it. I thought that was awesome to see such a timeless classic. You know, I played a lot of the Atari 2600 version, but, you know, not the arcade stand-up. And, and it was in really good working order, too. So... Looks like Washington has a new expo and hopefully they continue this tradition and have it next year. There was so much to enjoy at this expo. The Washington State Fairgrounds offers quite a bit. It was very spacious. That was the, probably the best thing about this expo. Everything was like spread out and so you didn't feel too uh, compacted with other people. So there was a lot of room to move around. It was gorgeous weather too. Weather really worked out. Um, you know, it's a first year expo and first year expos have first year issues and you know what, every expo is going to have that starting out, but they did a lot right. Um, next year, I would like to have a better placement on the vendor area. Uh, typically that's where I am and I know there's probably some people that couldn't find me because I was located in kind of in the back area, but I was just really gracious to be brought to the expo and had a good time and I want to thank all the vendors. Uh, that I talked to the organizers of the show Emilio. Thank you so much for being as hospitable and I want to come back So definitely this is something to think about if they come back and have which they, it's, it should be next year And they'll have some more info out on that as you know the organizer Steve does many different expos including summer con which will be this summer and that's gonna be an absolute blast. So in the comments below, please let me know. Just something you would consider going to Washington. It is an up and coming expo and I look forward to seeing what they do next as this is huge and has huge potential to grow. And you know what? I just think more and more people need to know about it. It's a first year show. Sometimes it's hard to get the word out. And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell 
As I'm uploading videos every week, you folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you take care.